Hi guys, it's Alex or Gothic Fitness on Instagram and today I'm going to be going through um, my supplements that I take daily. Um, a lot of people in my um, Instagram stories and stuff have been asking me what I take so I'm just going to go through that with you and explain why I take the things I do. Um, I wanted to start off by saying I am by no means a professional. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've gotten I have been taking um, by the recommendations of either my doctor or um, by people who um, rec recommended that I take certain things um, because it's worked for them so this is not um, by any means like what I believe that you should take or what you need to take um, but this is stuff that I've been taking that has helped me and um, if you're interested in any of this I um, encourage you to talk to your doctor and see if any of these supplements would be a good fit for you so um, we're gonna start off by talking about the kind of in order of what I take and why I take it. So the first thing in the morning that I usually do is I get a protein um, powder, protein shake. What I usually like to take for my protein is a um, shake made with either water or almond milk, um, depending on my calorie budget for the day, and um, mixing it with the um, what, gold standard whey protein that you can get at Costco. Um, the reason I like this protein is it, it has a pretty high um, protein percentage. Um, but a low calorie count. A lot of the protein that you get has a high calorie count and I don't like to um, consume that many calories like right at the start of my day. Um, and just as a personal preference because I usually will get sick. Um, and I also like it because it is pretty cheap. Um, you can get like a big, big bag of it for like 50 bucks and it will last me, it, it leaves lasts me like three months. Um, I would show you what that bag looks like, but I actually just gave the last bit I had to my mom because um, she wanted to try it out. But like I said, it's from Costco, gold standard whey protein. That's what I start my day with. Mix it in a blender bottle um, with about 16 ounces of either um, almond milk, water, or sometimes I'll do coffee in the morning, 16 ounces of coffee. Um, so that's the first thing I start with. And then the next thing that I get, I'm gonna try to show you guys all as I'm pulling them out is um, because we'll talk about this a little bit later, but because I'm on a low carb diet right now, um, I'm taking some fiber capsules here, as you can see that. Um, these are the Kirkland brand, so I get these from Costco. Um, the reason I take these is because since my carb intake is low, that means my fiber intake is a little bit lower than normal. Um, so I usually take these twice a day. Um, I'll take two of them twice a day, so two in the morning and two in the evening. Um, and that just helps like with my digestion and everything since I'm not getting as much fiber as I normally would in a no like balanced diet. Um, the next thing that I take is um, a women's multivitamin. So I get this from the vitamin shop. It's just like a regular like women's multivitamin. Um, the reason that I take those is um, if they promote bone health, they improve, or they can increase your energy, um, help with heart health and immune, um, uh, like bettering your immune system. Um, I take those once a day, just one in the morning. It's probably the biggest pill I take. Um, so I don't like to take it, but it's got a lot of good things packed in there for you. Um, the next thing I just recently started taking is called HMB. So this is HMB. I got this from the vitamin shop as well. It's by a company called Body Tech. Um, so I just got these under the recommendation of the guy um, who works at um, the vitamin shop. Um, Seth, if you're following me now, I told him my Instagram account. So hi, Seth. Um, uh, this is... Um, used to promote um, muscle growth, strength, and like recovery of muscles. Because if you know, um, which I don't know a ton, but uh, anything about growing muscles, um, the recovery time is actually the most important part of growing muscles um, rather than your workout. So uh, he recommended this to me because I am on a low um, calorie deficit right now. And one of the things I've noticed is I was actually losing a lot of my muscle mass that I gained last year while eating at a calorie deficit trying to lose weight um, from fat. So he recommended me take these and he said if you take these um, you will be able to grow muscle at the same time as um, you're losing fat. So I was a little skeptical at first because you know it's very difficult to lose fat and gain muscle and basically what I've been trying to do so far is just maintain the muscle gain that I gained last year. Um, but I started taking these and I've been taking them for a little bit over a month now and I weighed in and I did my in-body and I was actually able to gain a pound of muscle in about a month. Um, by doing my normal workouts and taking these and eating at a calorie deficit. So I'm pretty happy with the um, results I've seen with those personally, so I'm probably going to continue taking those even though at first I was pretty skeptical. Um, but that's the first month, or yeah, the first month in like 
six or seven months I've been able to actually gain muscle while losing weight so I'm pretty stoked on that um the next thing I take is a B complex vitamin there we go I also got this from the vitamin shop it's just B complex um, the reason I take the B complex, I do that once a day. Um, it promotes cell health, um, red, um, uh, increase red blood cell count. Um, it can improve your energy. It can help improve your eyesight. Um, and it also helps with your digest digestion and your nerve function. Now, the reason I specifically started taking this was because um, my blood, when I had um, Epstein bar a few like last year, my blood cell counts were all kind of like messed up. So I started taking the B complex to um, help with my energy levels. First of all, because I had the Epstein bar, my energy level was very, very low. And then also to help um, regulate my blood cell count um, and get that better. Um, in addition to that, I also started taking um, magnesium. So there's my magnesium. I got this um, from the health spot in Greenwood. Um, so the health or the magnesium I'm, uh, works alongside of the B complex. Um, it also helps reduce tiredness and fatigue, which is something that I've been kind of struggling with, especially in the morning. Getting myself out of bed is very difficult. Um, and actually, um, Instagram, um, one of my Instagram followers, Healthy Healthy Holly, you can follow her on Instagram as well. Um, she was the one who suggested this for me um, to work along with the B um, complex vitamin. So I take three of these a day, usually three, two in the morning and then one at night before bed um, and then the next thing that I take is this um, gut connection digestive vitamin so um, I started taking this because again with my change in diet when I started reducing my carbs and my, my um, fiber intake um, it kind of like messed up my gut a little bit I was a little um, you know just like having trouble digesting my food in the way because my body wasn't used to eating that level of protein and like that reduced amount of carbs so I got this to help improve um, the micro um, like bacteria in your gut because you're supposed to have like good bacteria and so it, it um, supports the favorable shift in gut um, microbacteria and then um, it also helps like reduce like digestive distress and bloating which is something that can happen like when you change your diet so uh, i don't know how, if i'm going to stay on this like long term but like at least during my diet change this was um, very helpful to help me um, keep my gut healthy during that switch um, i also am taking this is like a newer thing i started taking because i've had a lot of um, suggestions people saying that this is good to take um, a omega-3 fish oil um, the reason I'm taking this is to prevent heart disease um, and also lower blood pressure. Um, I have had a pretty healthy blood pressure um, usually, but I started it like was starting to like be a tiny bit high, like nothing crazy, nothing to be worried about. But because of that, I just got a little bit worried. And obviously, like heart disease is like one of the number one killers of women in America. So um, I decided that doing something proactive to um, better my heart and keep that blood pressure low um, would be a good thing. So I started taking the fish oil um, and I take two of those a day. Um, the next thing that I take, which this is something I definitely recommend you talking to your doctor about before you take, is um, vitamin D3. Um, so I actually take a ton of vitamin D3. Um, like, I don't really understand how vitamins work, but like this says like 2000 IUs. Like I had to buy this especially off of Amazon because you can't get it in like this dosage at like most normal like health stores and stuff because this is like a super, super high dosage. Um, when I first got my blood work done, when I first went to the doctor to try to like better my health, um, my vitamin D levels were like, like non-existent. I basically had like the lowest like vitamin D levels that like the doctor, um, like had seen in a long time, I guess. And um, one of the things like with my insulin resistance is this actually helps, um, vitamin D helps regulate blood sugar. So because I didn't have the vitamin D, that might've been a reason or part of the reason why the insulin resistance was causing, uh, being caused. Um, and also I used to get sick all the time and um, this helps with immune system stuff. And it, vitamin D is like what you get from the sun that can like help with like producing like serotonin levels and things like that. So I was basically just like not getting enough vitamin D. So I either was like not eating foods that like get it, got enough vitamin D in them. I wasn't in the sun enough, which I try to avoid the sun to protect my skin. Um, or I just, my body has a deficiency where it doesn't, you know, process 
or absorb vitamin D the way it should. So by taking um, the vitamin D3, um, it was able to help me boost those levels back up. So that helps with bone health, like I said, blood sugar levels, your immune system, memory, um, and it can regulate your hormones as well, which if you have depression, that can be helpful um, with that. Um, but like I said, I, I believe don't, I'm not hundred percent, but this is like one of those vitamins that like you don't just like pee out if you have too much, like you can, you can actually get poisoning from taking too much vitamin D3. That's why right now while I'm trying to get everything like figured out, I get my blood tested um, pretty frequently um, in order to you know, make sure that like my, all my levels are good and I'm not taking too much or too little of anything. So I definitely recommend before you start taking vitamin D to go and talk to your doctor about it. Um, the next thing that I take um, is um, apple cider vinegar tablets. So my friend, um, you can follow him on Instagram at Nathan Tyler Bennett. Um, he takes um, drinks shots of apple cider vinegar, like two tables or two teaspoons of it um, a day, not two tablespoons. That's disgusting. Um, but he says that for him, I mean, on the internet, if you look up apple cider vinegar on the internet, it basically tells you it does everything that it like freaking cures cancer and it like will make you not hungry. It'll make you lose weight. It'll do all of these crazy things. Um, I'm like a little skeptical about it. I started digging the apple cider vinegar because um, my stomach was kind of getting like with the digestive stuff was getting kind of grumbly like when I was eating, um, you know, my, my new diet. And so um, Nate suggested that I take that. Um, he says it really, really helps um, curb appetite um, if he's having cravings, um, as well as if his stomach is kind of rumbly, he'll take that and it'll kind of settle his stomach. Um, I haven't had a ton of success with it. I almost threw up the first time I tried to drink it straight out of the bottle. It was really gross. Um, so I would not recommend that personally. I tried to mix it in with like some sweetener, like in, uh, in like a ton of water and it didn't matter. I could still taste it. So I found these tablets and these tablets taste awful as well, but because you're just putting on your tongue and swallowing them, you don't get that same kind of aftertaste you get when you're taking the liquid form of it. So if you're going to take apple cider vinegar, I re recommend these. Um, again, I haven't really had a lot of success with it. I. I don't know, I might like stop, go off of them for a while and see if I see any changes and if I see any negative changes, go back on them. But um, you can try it, especially if you're having like some gut or digestive issues or if you're having problems with cravings, you can at least try it and see if it works for you. I also just saw these gummies that I might try that are called like, um, either Golly or Jolly, it's G-O-L-I, um, but they're apple cider vinegar gummies and I freaking love gummies because I love gummy worms. They're like my one of my favorite snacks. So having a vitamin in gummy form kind of gives you that feeling like you're having a treat even though you're not. So um, I might try those in the future, but we'll see. Um, so the next thing I take is a hair, skin, and nail gummy. So I get these from Costco in a big jug and they're really cheap. Um, I've, I've looked into like sugar bear hair and things like that, but they're so expensive. And like from what I've read, they really don't do anything better than just like a generic hair, skin and nail vitamin. Um, and like I said, I love gummies. So this is like super um, yummy and, and good for me. Um, I get my nails done, um, which I'll show you guys my nails real quick. My friend um, C. Brutusel Nails on Instagram. I've shared her stuff before. Um, she does like the most amazing nails. Um, I'm going to see My Chemical Romance this weekend and she, I can't even get it to focus, but she did these like awesome like My Chemical Romance themed nails on me. But these are my real nails and usually they're actually longer than this. I cut them down after um, my last nails because they were like super long. Um, but I, I used to bite my nails like crazy and I have really weak, brittle nails. So I started taking hair skin and nail vitamins to help my hair grow because I'm trying to grow this mullet out like super long. That's like... My goal is to get like the world's longest mullet. And then also I wanted to have like nice long fingernails. So I take those um, and then also for, for, it's supposed to help your skin too. And I have, usually I have horrible acne and um, it's been a little bit better recently. I have a hor horrible pimple I'm hiding with my bangs right now, but um, so that's why I take those. Um, then the next thing that I take, um, and this is at the beginning of the day. After, so after I take all of these vitamins, I usually drink, I usually use drink a 12 ounce glass of water with all of these vitamins. So that's what I use to take all of these. Um, and then after I finish that 12 ounce glass of water, have taken all of those vitamins, um, I get ready to for my day. So that's when I will also, I'll get my um, pre or my uh, 
protein shake with either my almond milk or water or protein powder to take with me to work. Um, and then I also get 30 ounces of water and I'll put my pre-workout in it because I usually um, work out before. So I have tried a lot of different pre-workouts. The other one that I usually um, used to get was C4. Um, this is a new one I'm trying um, called Total War. Um, Seth at the vitamin shop recommended this for me as well because um, pre-workout just like really doesn't work for me. I don't know like caffeine doesn't affect me super badly i can drink like three energy drinks which i don't recommend doing um but when i was in art school desperate times called for desperate measures but like i don't have like that heart rate thing my heart doesn't go up i don't really it doesn't really feel like it wakes me up caffeine just like doesn't do anything for me who knows why but so this has got a bunch of different stuff like mostly caffeine products that um is supposed to get you hyped and pumped and ready to do a workout. So I've been trying this. Um, Seth was like, this is really strong stuff. Make sure you do half a scoop first and see how it affects you. I've been doing a full scoop now for a week and I really just don't feel that much different. So you can try it if you want to. I, don't, I just don't feel like pre-workout works for me. So I don't know, I'm weird. Um, and then if I don't take pre-workout, what I'll usually do is I'll um, put a little bit of Mio energy in, um, my water so this is um zero calories i'll do like two or three like little squirts in there um and then it has um it's flavored so it like helps me like get my water intake going at the beginning of the day but then it also is um uh, caffeinated so it helps you know it's supposed to help wake you up in the, in the morning but again i don't caffeine doesn't super affect me so um Usually after that, I will drink, so that'll be my thirst, first 30 ounces of water a day. I usually drink 60 more ounces of regular water throughout the day um, for a total of 90 ounces of water a day. It's very important to keep your body hydrated, especially if you're working out. So what they normally say, like the rule of thumb is kind of you drink half of your body's weight ounces. So right now, like I weigh 134 pounds. So I would want to drink, um, oh gosh, I have to do math now, 50 60 like five ish ounces of water a day um but because i'm working out and i work out usually um, pretty vigorously i try to increase that um amount even more because i know that i'm um expelling a lot of that water so i try to drink about 90 ounces of water a day um and then uh at the evening time so any of these vitamins that i already said before that i say i take twice a day that means i take one or or um, two of them at night as well as in the morning um, and then my other evening medicine I take is I take um, Kirkland brand like um, allergy medicine um, a couple months well actually like back in the spring I started having like random like uh, allergy attacks where basically like my tongue would swell up and my mouth like super big and it was actually really scary I was at a trip in Spain and I was in a Spanish hotel room completely by myself first time alone out of the country in a non-English speaking country and my tongue was like swelling up in my mouth and I thought I was gonna die alone in a Spanish hotel room. So um, I started taking that and since I started taking that, um, I haven't had any problems with the swelling or the itching. I used to get really bad hives whenever I would have a panic attack and that has been subdued. So this uh, kind of sucks because it's expensive. Um, allergy medicine is just kind of expensive, but I just take one a day and it helps keep those down. Eventually I'd like to get a food allergy test to see if there's like a food that I'm eating that is like, um, making it worse um, but I really think it's a, a mostly stress reaction thing because I'm an anxious person. Um, speaking of anxiety, the other two things that I take, which I'm not going to actually show you the bottle because it's got my personal um, information on it, but I take um, 40 milligrams of citalopram. Um, so citalopram is an anti-anxiety medication that's related to Celexa. So I take 40 milligrams of that once a day. Um, I used to take it when I was in high school and it would make me fall asleep. And I was like, really like, um, I stopped taking it for a while because I was like, I can't be falling asleep in school. Um, and then my doctor said this really brilliant thing to me. She was like, why don't you take it before you go to bed? And I was like, wow, I never freaking thought of that. So now I take my citalopram before I go to bed helps me sleep, reduces my anxiety, makes me feel a lot better than I used to. So I highly recommend, again, if you have anxiety, if you have problems with that, talk to your doctor because there are medications that can really help. 
And then the other thing that I take is something called hydroxyzine, um, which I take 25 milligrams of hydroxyzine as needed up to three times daily. So this is like if I'm in full swing panic attack, like hyperventilating, crying, you know, freezing, disassociating, any of those things, I can take this and it can help me like calm down in that moment. So I kind of carry the, a few tablets of this with me like every day um, and I just take them as needed. I haven't been able or haven't been needing them as much recently, um, which is awesome, but it's just kind of safety net for me if something goes like really bad that I can use this instead um and then the last thing I want to talk about just really quickly is um what I'm eating as far as my macro breakdown so right now I'm eating 90 um, grams of protein a day I am staying under 50 grams of carbs a day and then I'm eating between 30 to 50 grams of fat a day so the diet that I'm on is high protein low carb and low fat um but it is not um like strictly keto and it's not because keto is high fat and high protein um, and this is like keeping my fat lower too and it's also not no carb it's just low carb um, and again I'm on that specific diet because of my insulin resistance and because we're trying to get rid of that which I have blood work um, coming up in the next week or so so hopefully I'll be able to find out if that insulin resistance is still there or if it's going away if I'm making improvements by changing my diet and my lifestyle so I will keep you guys posted on that um, but again before you change your diet or do anything um, drastic, I would really suggest talking to your doctor, getting those blood levels checked out, seeing what's going to be good for you. Because um, for some people, you know, eating a ton of protein isn't good. Or, or for some people, like restricting your carbs like a ton is not good. Um, it's all about individuals. Everybody has their own um, needs, um, dietary needs or supplement needs. Um, so I just want to let you guys know what I take and why I take it and kind of my thought process um, about why I take it. Um, that way, hopefully you can start thinking about that and talk to your doctor and figure out what works best for you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys wanted to get a little bit more um, information on my um, supplements or uh, my diet, please comment in the comments below. Um, make sure you like this video and subscribe. And um, if you have anything else that you'd like me to see or like maybe go through a more specific um, thing about my um, daily diet, like I would be more than happy to. I want to make content that you guys are going to um, like like the only reason i'm doing this is because i want to help other people so if there's anything that you would like me to um, make content about please leave it in the comments below or message me on instagram at gothic fitness and that's g-o-t-h-i-c-c -C fitness um so yeah i think that's it for today thank you guys so much for tuning in and remember to live healthy die happy and leave a pretty corpse see you guys next time bye